your character on Dead of Summer is kind of mysterious. Can you tease that a bit? Oh yes, she is mysterious. We're not quite sure what she's up to. She seems to be both um, nurturing and, and slightly lascivious and, um, and maybe creepy or maybe just like the nicest girl in the world. Who knows? What is her history with Camp Stillwater? She was a counselor there and a camper and, um, and now she's back because she wants to reopen the camp and have it be amazing. Do you think she purposely tempts some of the boys at the camp? It certainly does seem that way. And <laughs> what's it like working with Adam and Eddie? This is the third show you've worked on with them. Third show with them. I love them. They're kind. They're uh, talented. They're stand-up guys. Like I'm, I'm crazy about them. And this is also your third show with Steve Perlman. Yeah, it is. And uh, there's somebody else from V that's showing up as well. Charlie. Yes. Yes! Oh, he's so good, too. He is. He's so good at morphing into these different characters. I love it. And what do you think fans will enjoy the most about Dead of Summer? I think that, you know, the characters are well-drawn and interesting and different. And, and it's also scary, so it gets your blood pumping, you know? But in kind of a nice way. Was it scary at all to film on location? Not for me. I'm so sorry, it wasn't scary. I, would, I need to be able to say, yeah, it was super scary, but I wasn't so scared, but, but I can see how it's scary. I watch it and I, I agree that it's terrifying. Is there a particular episode or moment that fans should watch out for? Well, the one here in the opening one, uh, over by like the dock, it's terrifying. Yeah, really, as a matter of fact, we were all watching it, we all went, <gasps> so that's what you want, right? And... be scary. Was it... What was it like working with Elizabeth as such a different character? Oh, I love that Elizabeth. She's always amazing. She really is. She's extraordinary. She's um, she's incredibly um, good. Just genuinely good. And she's always prepared and kind and lovely. So I'm crazy about her. And one last question for you. Do you ever wonder what Erica Evans is doing now? Yes, I do. I always feel so devastated for her because she never found out about her son, right?